Yo, what's up everybody? Time to get our eBay break uh, over and done with 2019 Bowman Baseball. It is a hobby four box break number six. So nice we had to do it a sixth time uh, for eBay. Come this way. I'm doing, Steve. I'm doing. How about you? How was, uh, how's your weekend going? Let's do this. Browns uh, apparently have a really good draft. The draft is done, right? Because I didn't watch it yesterday. I think the rest of it was yesterday. Rounds 5 through 7. I'm satisfied with the Dolphins. Not too happy about the Rosen trade, but, you know, again, we'll see what happens with that. Again, you know, not a big fan of Rosen. You know, his, uh, his rookie season in, uh, in Arizona was not the greatest. However, you know, he, he didn't really have much help on the O-line. And you know, aside from Larry Fitz, didn't have you know that the didn't have good targets. So we'll see. You know, hopefully the kid gets you know riled up with a chip on his shoulder because uh you know being traded for Kyler Murray. I'm hoping he comes in again with that chip on his shoulder and, uh, you know, just puts in work. What's crazy now is that uh, basically all the first-round quarterbacks la drafted last year all play in the same division. Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, and Josh Rosen. And, you know, then there's that other guy, Tom Brady. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Some dude there. But yeah, baby, football is back. Before you know it, it'll be college football time. And I'm really excited to see what the Hurricanes are going to look like this year. All right, let me make a quick change here because this is bothering me. So if it's bothering me, probably bothering you. There looks a lot better, I think. All righty. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. It's a little dark. I'm trying to get get it away from the uh, from the glare, but that doesn't look that good. How about that? I'm just back to how it was. Ah, a lot better this way. Anyways, oh yeah. So everyone's weekend good. I actually got to see that uh, that Avengers movie. And I gotta say, it could have been better. And that's all I'm gonna say. You know, I don't know uh, how many of you have seen it or not. Nick about to be gall to two fifty White Sox. What about you, Steve? How did your team do in the draft or anybody else out there as we uh, gaze upon this Ryan Costello auto to four ninety nine for the Twins?
Got Kesson here to 150 Brewers. Come on. You're a Browns fan, ain't you, Steve? Peter Alonzo, Atomic for the Mets. Let me, Didn't Steve? Didn't you also draft a, a a DB from Miami? I think or something Gray, Rashawn Gray. I think is his name. Greedy Williams is a, is a stud. So I, don't, I no idea how he fell all the way uh, to join his fellow LSU alumni, Odell and Jarvis. Browns got really good in the draft. You know, Greedy should be a first-year starter as a rook, you know, uh, uh, opposite of uh, Denzel. And like I said, I think they also picked up a DD, I think a safety for Miami. And that's what we do in Miami. We produce basically every position except quarterback. Oh, you guys picked up red wine? Oh, man. Argu you know, before he got injured, arguably one of our best DBs right there. Uh, Jay Taylor, I can almost guarantee you that it was not. I uh, went through every single card, and I'll go through them one more time just for you, Jay Taylor. I'm fully aware of the Bryce Harper short print paper, though. Uh, I can't tell you... How hard of a card that is to hit, though. You probably have a better chance of winning 20 bucks on a scratch-off than you do hitting that Bryce Harper. But, uh, I'll, again, I'll go through the cards one more time just for you. But I can almost guarantee you I have not pulled it. Let's see here. I'm assuming you have the ta uh, the the Phillies J Taylor. Otherwise, uh, I don't think you'd bring it up. <laughs> and this is why we also record our breaks too, and we show every single card. So that way, if I'm wrong or right, there's video evidence. No shenanigans. I don't blame you, Jay, but, you know, if, if I have to do this for every single box, brother, we're going to be here a while. Again, that's why I show every single card. I know I go a little bit quickly for it, but there is a feature on YouTube where you can slow it down or actually uh, increase the speed as well. But just to show you, Jay, there was not a single Bryce Harper card in there, man. That's, that's something that we look for because that card is money. So there you go.
No need to yell at me, Jay. I wanted to do it again just to show you that it was not pulled. Nah, dude, you're you're taking this the wrong way, Jay. I wanted to do it, bro. Because we've been accused of that before, so no worries, man. You're taking it the wrong way. Relax. Enjoy the break. Again, if you see if you think I hit it or something, let me know. I'm trying to be thorough as possible. It's all good, Jay. We good, baby. I wanna pull that card. It's a sick ass card. Box two. Some of these cards stick too, so that would be crazy. Yeah, I read an article somewhere that, uh, even Tops doesn't know what the what the papers are limited to, because of course there's the parallels, you know, the ones that are numbered to 150, 250, blah, blah, blah. But as far as the paper, uh, they don't know how many of those are actually printed in circulation, which I find interesting. Like, how do you not know? Or maybe they're just telling us that so we can buy more. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the latter. Hey, that is actually uh, pretty freaking good right there. 1989 Bowman buyback for Cal Ripken Jr. That's a pretty sick hit for the Orioles right there. That's the first buyback I've pulled. Very nice. Chris Archer to 25 for the Pirates. Steve, they, I mean, they, they could have drafted Haskins. You know, hometown kid wanted to play for the Giants. But, uh, yeah, they ended up picking up that kid out of Duke. Uh, apparently, he has, like, a relationship with the Manning family. But, whatever. Zach Collins, White Sox, uh, Atomic. The Giants clearly uh, want to suck for a while. But, I mean, then again, who knows? Well, you know, What if Daniel Jones turns out to be Tom Brady 2.0? Then, uh, then who, who's laughing then? But I doubt that's going to happen. You know, we played against Duke uh, or in our division, uh, and by ours, I mean the Hurricanes. And uh, we put a spanking on them boys <laughs> year in, year out. Nice little, uh, what do you call these, canary yellows? Alice Karoloff, 75, twin twin twins. Basically, Steve... But again, I, I, I do. Oh, well, who knows? Who knows? Clearly, they, they think Eli's going to start for at least another year or so. So that, you know, that's just a little pet project to groom him to be the, you know, the successor of Eli, whenever that's going to be. DJ Peters, the 25 Dodgers.
I hope Haskins balls out in Washington. Like you could tell, like he was not happy that he ended up a Redskin. Two boxes in. Pull something real quick. All right. Oh, you're an OSU fan? So you gotta like the guy. Well, listen, the Redskins definitely need a quarterback. If, if your buddies think uh, Alex Smith is the future, uh, even with two good legs, that's not the guy to get you to the next level. So why not take a chance on Haskins? He's got all the physical tools. The issue is, you know, where is he mentally? You know, how bad does he really want it? And I think this little snub here to start his career is uh, going to give him that little extra oomph, if you will. What's going on, uh, Matt? How are you? Let me look up this Cal Ripken real quick. Doesn't tell me how many there are of them. I was hoping to know. What the print run was on that. Either way, sick hit for the Orioles. My boy Josh Rosen. Yeah, man. Jury's out for that guy. Jury's out. If Ryan Fitzpatrick beats him for the starting job, that tells me everything I need to know about Josh Rosen. I do. I hope so, Roy. I hope so. You know, not not for nothing. Yeah, and this is gonna sound very ignorant and mean on my behalf. But he doesn't look like the brightest crayon in the in, in the crayon box. You know what I mean? Like he just like he has that 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 face that like like he's not all quite there. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. What up, Jay Mess? Yeah, Cal Ripken Jr. is in Bowman. He has, he has a 89 buyback. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. also has a buyback in this. He's a smart dude, apparently. Nice. I don't know, man. Like he just maybe he's a cold-blooded killer like Eli was back in the day. He just has that stupid look on his face at all times. Yeah, but J. Mess isn't wrong. Miami, uh, since Marino uh, retired, Miami is where quarterbacks go to die. Let's see what we got in this third box. That's what I'm saying, J. Mess. But, you know, apparently they, they believe more in Rosen. And, dude, we got a second-round pick out of that. So we, we, we got Rosen for a steal. We, we traded down. We traded down on our second round pick. Oh, that is a good card. That is a great card. So good that uh, his mama named him twice. Victor, Victor Mesa. 11 to 25 for the Marlins. Very nice indeed. All right. Huge card, man. Huge card. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, the Dolphins traded down on our second round pick. We got Rosen, and we got a second round pick for next year. 
So I'm happy with that with, with that period. You know, had we drafted Haskins, boom, we got Haskins and that's it. But at least this way we got a quarterback and we got a future second round pick. Luis Garcia, twenty five of twenty five for the Nationals. So I'm I'm happy with that. But I don't know about Rosen to be honest, man. We'll see. We shall see. Josh James, four nine nine Astros. How's your weekend going, Jay Mess? Hope all is well. Got to take a picture of that Victor and put that thing on the social medias. Bowman still going strong. We got uh, we got a jumbo case in the store right now. When all te when all teams sell, we'll go ahead and rip that. Uh, last I checked, twenty teams left in that break. We have a hobby and like. Four more cases of Jumbo coming tomorrow. Oh, yeah. D.L. Hall, Orioles Atomic. Uh, dude, Matt, I saw Endgame yesterday. I saw Endgame yesterday. And I, I don't want to, you know, put any spoilers out there for anybody. Uh, but I thought the movie could have been better. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I was uh, kind of disappointed, to be honest. And then again, that's my fault for having high expectations. You know, a good friend once told me, it's kind of hard to be disappointed if you have zero expectations. Yeah, I try to live my life that way. What is this? Brent Rooker, 299 Twins. Dolphins are going to go 7-8 and eight yet again next year. <laughs> and we're going to have to trade up for Tua. So we, we did a good job stacking up, uh, doing some trades here and there. We got a few second round picks next year. I would hope John Wick 3. I mean, listen, it's kind of hard. There's a lot of people that don't like John Wick. I mean, it's a man's movie, dude. Like, it's a it's a, it's a a dude flick. Well, people getting shot. You know, a lot of bullet time action. A little slow-mos. You know? Redemption for my dog, damn it. It's a dude, it's a dude movie. So it's kind of hard to mess up a dude movie. Whereas, you know, the new Endgame Avengers, in my opinion, it went it just it went on way too long. There's a bunch of scenes that I, I could do without. But at the end of the day, I understood why they did it. I just don't like that they did it anyway. But whatever. All in all, it was a good movie. But not better than Infinity War. I'll say that much. Dude, I, I love the first John Wick. I have yet to see the second one. You know, the first one is pretty straightforward. You know, I think, I think they stole his car and then they killed his dog. Like, that's enough to make any man go crazy. No, I lied. I think they killed his dog first. Which he got from his re recently deceased uh, main squeeze. You know, she got got. And she gave him the dog before that happened. Or something like that. And then they killed his dog. And then they and then they took his car. It's such a simple premise. But damn it, you don't do that to a man. John Wick of all people. And dude, I'm a sucker for... For slow mos and you know ridiculous bullet time action, like I'm, I'm a sucker for all that stuff. Like I can't, 
I cannot not watch it. And yes, I agree. Shooter with Marky Mark. Really good movie. Like, really good. As we approach the uh, last box here. So how's everybody uh, feeling about their team's NFL draft prospects? I would give my Dolphins a B. A solid B. We addressed what we needed to address. And we got like a, you know, we got some extra draft picks for next year. As we uh, enter year one of the Brian Flores era in Miami. I know, right, Matt? That's what I think, too. Like, I always have to check myself. Like, what do y'all think about Daniel Jones to the Giants? And uh, let's see what's in this last box here. Good luck, y'all. Especially those without a hit. Let's see what we got. We got Andrew Kisner is our final autograph for the Cardinals. Ah, uh, Rick, I ain't mad at you. You know, unfortunately, rugby is just not a big deal in the states. Like, I don't even know where I could watch rugby. Yeah, they don't let you tackle in football no more. Matt and I called, uh, sold on Kyler. I kind of wish they would have kept Rosen to, to have, uh, you know, that QB competition out there. Nico Horner, 499 Cubs. But this is what I find hilarious about, you know, teams. Like, you're going to put a, you know, a rookie quarterback. You're just basically going to feed him to the Wolves. And if he doesn't do well, you're going to start all over? I don't know. Daniel Johnson, 49 Nationals. As as Matt says, what do I know? You know, who am I? You know, they, they should have... Rugby should be a bigger deal. You would think rugby would be a bigger deal in the States, given its uh, physicality. Imagine if they... Well, eventually they could... I don't know. Maybe they do this now, but... Kind of like how soccer has that, you know, the World Cup every four years. All the nations get together. Well, there's a tournament to get in anyways. A three-year-long tournament. But uh, they, can, they can do kind of the same thing with rugby. That would be dope. the autograph so hoping for uh, maybe a super fracture parallel or something Jonathan Hernandez atomic for the Rangers or maybe finally hit that Harper which is a uh, stupid tough to hit but he has shown his face before John Duplantier. 
So one twenty five for the D backs. Oh, they do, Rick. Ah, see. I I had no idea that was a thing. And look at me, I'm a genius, somehow, in my own mind. All right, last little stack here. What do we got? Well, they cut that card all messed up. That Verlander. That burns too. Well, Jazz Chisholm to one fifty D bags. Come on. What dog? Today's the twenty eighth. How's that Rockets Warriors game going? And that's going to do it for this break. All right. So let's recap this thing, shall we? We got an 89 Bowman buyback autograph of Cal Ripken Jr. That'll go to the Orioles. Not bad. You know, if you like nice things. Uh, we also got Andrew Kisner, Cardinals. Ryan Costello to 499 Twins. And this Victor Victor Mesa, 11-25 for the Marlins. Huge hit right there. We'll make sure that ships with insurance and all the good biddies. And that's going to do it for the break, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get it.